Good morning, everyone. So today we are in Arkansas and we're gonna go explore the Hot Springs National Park. <laughs> we got the dogs out here running around, getting their energy burned off before a big day. So we just got done having some breakfast. So feeling pretty good. And uh, I don't think we could have asked for a better day. Just getting into Hot Springs National Park, and it's nothing like we thought. We thought it was gonna be like a park you go into, but it's it's a city, like a little town, and so it's not really clear on where to go or where to park. So we're taking this scenic drive, and then there's a bunch of bath houses that I guess you can uh, bath, bathe in for the natural springs. But I don't know if they're all open or not, so we'll go look. But We'll take this scenic drive and then find a place to park and go explore. So we're gonna do the Hot Springs Mountain Tower. It's a huge tall tower that you look up and apparently you can see all kinds of views from the top. You can either take the stairs. I don't know if the elevator is operating or not, but it's it's a lot of stairs. So uh, I think we're gonna go check it out <laughs> and uh, go from there. We just had to buy passes to right up to the top of the elevator. It was like six bucks a person if you're a National Parks pass holder, which is, wasn't too bad. So we're gonna take the elevator up instead of the stairs. Cause we feel like we're gonna be doing a lot of hiking today. It's $10 a person if you don't have the National Park Holders Pass or $8 if you're 55 and older. And it sounds like you have to pay that regardless of whether you take the stairs or the elevator or not. Cause he asked us after we paid which way we'd be going. So. Either way to get to the top of the tower, you have to pay. Right, we're at the top of the tower now. The views are pretty great. It's super windy up here, super windy. Let's see if I can find a decent spot to get this. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely see all over. Mine's a lot of the Black Hills. We are now currently on floor two and it's more like the history of Hot Springs and the bathhouses and who used to visit here. Um, there's a ton of famous baseball players that come here in the spring training, like Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle, uh, Cy Young came here. 
I guess Al Capone came here quite a bit too, enjoyed the bathhouses, so there's a lot of history here. Uh, yeah, definitely the second level is where it's all enclosed, and it's pretty windy out today, so you can definitely feel the tower shaking a little. A little. It's kind of eerie, but still the views from up here are really great. stairs down see how those are like it's not too bad get some exercise on the way down all right we made it back to the van and now I think we're gonna go down the hill see if we can't find some bath houses should also mention that on this loop no vehicles over 33 feet long can actually come up here so if you're in a bigger rv or pulling a trailer or something like that you might not be able to come up on this loop you can park down at the bottom um, and then walk your way up if you need to do that as well Like a hot spring? <laughs> that's crazy. You feel it. Yeah, that's, that's warm. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Like, I thought I'd be able to keep my hand under there, but it can. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They're all like. All hot. Obviously, it's Hot Springs National Park. Oh, my pants! I know, me too. I mean, I was expecting it to be warm, but I didn't expect it to be that warm. That was crazy. All right, I'm gonna taste it. Okay. They said to taste the water. I wanna taste it. And then so they're like, hey, taste the water. We don't have a water bottle, so. I mean, Tastes taste, like water? Yeah, I mean, it tastes like hot water, so. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. It tastes clean. Yeah. It tastes better than any filtered water I've ever had. Right, I'm like, okay, well, see if we can find another spot to try some water. We're about to walk down Bathhouse Road, and it's like, historic landmark as well as a national park so the first bathhouse is the Lamar bathhouse and that's where we got to go to go get our passport stamped which is what we do at every national park that we're going to go to and hopefully have that thing filled up in a year or so <laughs> <laughs> like that national park number two checked off built in 1911 it's one of the sole places left on bathhouse row that still functions as a bathhouse it kept its historic look while others were modernized so people really liked this one because it still looks like the original bathhouses
Alright, so we found another stamping station, um, but it has a couple different stamps than the one that we got before, so I'm gonna get a couple of these as well. Bathhouse, which is the one we're about to go into now, is the only brewery in every in any national park that exists. So of course we have to go have a beer there. But the Superior Bathhouse was the longest running bathhouse on Bathhouse Row. It closed in 1983 and it was known for giving superior service. Vinny got a killer, which is an Irish red, and then he got the foul play, which is an oatmeal stout. The next one is a goat rock bock, and then the last one that he got was the bee's knees, which is a honey basil kolsch, which I wanted to try as well. And so um, you can do a flight like this if you want to taste some stuff or they give you little sample guys too if you just want to like taste one before you buy it. This one was their basic peaches. It's a peach flavored sour. And then I ended up going with a tried and true sour, or um, cider, sorry. It's a black apple pineapple and it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Do you think I'm gonna start with the red and go way down? I would start lightest. Elise said she would start lightest and go dark, but. But that's so what I are mean, we gonna do, baby? Alright, I better I better do what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> Any other beer drinkers out there? If you would go lightest to darkest, let me know. Any of you like to be different? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, anyone's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. Yeah. Right. I don't think you guys want to see me sample all these. So I'll drink them all, and then I'll, I'll let you know the the consensus on how good they are. All right, so we decided to get pulled pork tacos. We're just gonna share them, and then we got some fries. And so they look pretty tasty. So can't wait to dive in and try all this stuff out. She spilled her barbecue sauce, so she's bringing us a new one. But. Mm. <laughs> What is it? What was it? Peach habanero. It's so yummy, but I'm literally dying now. <laughs> oh my god, my mouth is on fire. But the peach flavor, oh my god, that was so good. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give it a whirl. This is a uh, sauce. I love spicy stuff. Oh yeah. That's got some kick to it. My mouth is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we would have caught the initial reaction on camera because it's priceless. It's so funny. Oh no. <laughs> my mouth hurts. Dude, but that is good. Alright, well, the consensus on my flight was I like the oatmeal stout the best, so I decided to get another glass of that. At least, what'd you get? I just got a little four ounce pour of that peach sour that I tried. It's called Basic Peaches, and I'm still working on my cider, so. <laughs> yeah, so we got our, decided to order a pretzel here. Pretty tasty, uh, so, but after this, we're gonna go grab the dogs and take them for a walk. So we'll pick you guys up there. Yeah. We just got back to the van. Um, decided to drive up to the watchtower again, or the lookout tower, to grab some postcards for our family. So every national park we hit, we try to send them some postcards. So when you guys watch this video, you should have these postcards by then. Um, then we're gonna head back up into the national forest, find a spot to camp for tonight. And then 
that's why we're gonna let the dogs off leash let them run around get some exercise run out so yeah okay so we just got back to camp we got we're at a new spot than we were last night so this place we have service which is pretty cool especially being out in the national forest we got some coffee going i'm gonna have some coffee it's gonna be decaf or else i'll be up all night i think elise is gonna have some hot cocoa but i'll have you guys check out this spot out here so we got a nice little Penny, leave it there. open area i mean i think we're gonna end up picking up a little bit around here there's Last people left some trash, which sucks. I, it seems like places are so hit and miss. Some places are really well cared for and you can tell that the people who use the campsites pick up after themselves. And then there's other ones where like this one where there's like a Taco Bell cup across the road. Like, yeah, I don't understand, but. <laughs> but we got a lot of space out here. We got the dogs playing. So they're having a good time. But I think this is where we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, not sure what we got planned for the rest of the week or what's going on, but if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up, give us a like. If you wanna see where we end up next, go ahead and hit subscribe. We post videos every Friday. So we'll see you next time.